Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say and I'm here in horse trailer sales at TransWest. For those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver, and we usually have a very large selection of new and used trailers here on the lot. So for those of you that are just tuning in for the first time, we are one of the biggest um, carriers of the Cimarron trailers. We have a variety of uh, horse, cow, pig, toy hauler, Cimarrons, you name it, and we usually have it or we have it on order. So this one right here, I think there's gonna be a lot of people drooling over this one. And don't get too excited because this is actually already a sold unit. Somebody saw this on our, on our inventory list and they said, that's the trailer I want. Can we put our name on it so that when it comes in, it's mine. The great thing about what TransWest does is we have a long list of things on order. We're already ordering out to February. So there's a good chance that if it's not sitting here, we've probably got it in the process to be built um, somewhere down the line. So you're always welcome to call us, call in, put a deposit on one of these trailers that are making their way through. And then if you're like this family, you can do a couple changes to make it exactly how you want it. So this was a pretty good footprint for this one. What we've got here is a 2022 Cimarron Steerwalt Pro Series. It's 25 feet on the floor. You've got a 20 foot stall area and a five foot front tack. One of the reasons we did the five foot front tack on this one is because having a ramp into the tack room has been so incredibly popular. People don't have to lug their, their heavy show boxes up into the trailer. They can just um, get nice and easy up on the ramp. I mean, there's so much equipment that people bring when they're showing off these trailers that it's just nice to have an easy way to, to load and unload. And by going with the five foot front tack as opposed to the four foot that we've done in years past, you actually get to have that front ramp on there. So it just makes everybody's life a lot easier. You've still got the escape door on the other side, the man door, so you can just go in and out. If you're somewhere parked close and you don't wanna have to put your ramp down, but you need to grab something inside, you've got a man door to go in and out of. So let's start up in the front here. This is a great trailer for somebody that's just starting out showing, or maybe um, they're downsizing. They've, they've, some of the kids have gone off to school and they want something that's just really maneuverable easy to get around, sharp looking, um, and just very well set up to use. So right here, the first thing you'll notice is we did upgrade to an electric over hydraulic jack. This just makes it so much easier. Even though this trailer is only 25 feet on the floor, nobody wants to sit there and hand crank a jack up and down. So at the push of a button, this one goes nice and easy up and down. You've got your manual override, so if you ever let your jack die, you're always welcome um, to hand pump it up and down. It's a lot slower, but I've done it on plenty of trailers. Uh, the nice thing about these inventory trailers is that we actually equip them with a battery disconnect up here in this battery box. So that say um, you have a bunch of kids running around it, somebody's turning on lights, you don't notice that one of them doesn't get turned off. When you go to crank up your trailer next time, instead of having to push the button, your jack is dead. That's something we try and avoid on these trailers. So we do a battery disconnect. So when you're done using your trailer, it's as simple as turning it um, to the left and having that red, red uh, off switch show so that there's no power going to this trailer to preserve your battery so that when you go to, to uh, hook up next time, your jack is alive and well. Got your spare tire under here. We have we decided to do the uh, aluminum black wheels. This is a nice black sheeted trailer. Um, so these black wheels, it just really makes it pop. Um, aluminum wheels come standard on every Cimarron trailer and you have the option to do um, some different wheel choices if you want. Your spare tire is actually gonna be just like your, the rest of your tires out there or on, on the trailer. Um, so you've got nitrogen filled, if you need to take this off and, and replace one of your tires on the floor, there's nothing, you're not going to have any consequences of that. Um, the nitrogen filled just really helps stabilize that PSI on these trailers so that on these really cold mornings that get to super hot days, 
if you don't find that your tires expand too rapidly and you have issues with blowouts. So that nitrogen just keeps that PSI a lot more steady, especially in somewhere like Colorado. So as I mentioned, we've got these black sheets, these 050 aluminum, so it's a little more heavy duty than you would see on like a lot of the roofs of trailers. Nice thing about Cimarron trailers is you've got a FiberTech insulated roof, so you're not gonna have to worry about that. It's gonna stay a lot cooler in your trailer than everybody else is going down the road. Got this five foot front tack, this mat, this uh, ramp texture is nice and grippy, so if you've got slick bottom soles or anything like that, it's gonna give you some nice grip walking up and down. So even though you're not loading animals on this one per se, it still is just a nice safety feature. Gives you lots of texture. So in here, uh, we know everybody's boots are really dirty walking in and out um, of the yards and everything like that. So we wanna make sure that these trailers stay as nice as possible for as long as possible. So we've actually upgraded to the rubber mat um, in this tack area here. You've got the carpeted walls behind these hooks here. These are nice heavy duty extruded uh, hooks. So they're actually aluminum that is coated. So um, they're gonna hold up a lot better. They, everybody walks up and they're like, oh, these look like plastic. But they're just, they're just nice painted black aluminum hooks that Cimarron makes. These wider ones are really good for those extension cords and hoses, um, as opposed to like the smaller bridle hook ones that we have on our horse trailers. Something we've been doing a lot of on these steer waltz is this airliner cargo track. So it's, it's that L track that you can get tons of different attachments for. So what a lot of people like to do is they like to um, strap all of their big heavy equipment up against the wall so that you free up some of your floor space and you don't have to worry about things shifting as you travel. Right here behind me, you'll see that all of these trailers now come standard with these OptiBright LED lights. They put out so much light at night. Um, they're super bright. Try not to look too closely at them, but it's really nice that these LED lights that we've gone to on these trailers, they have a lower power draw, they last a lot longer, and they throw out a lot more light than those old, than those old school styles. So you'll notice I don't have a ton of headroom in here. This is a 6'4 tall trailer. Predominantly we're hauling cattle in these trailers, not horses. So uh, what we found is we can actually cut down on some of the height here and make it um, so that your trailer's a little more streamlined going down the road. Unless somebody's got some really, really tall cattle, you're probably gonna be just fine in a 6'4 tall trailer. Another thing we did on this one is we've done this little removable gate here. Um, so if you wanna throw stuff up here, maybe fans or um, there's always a lot of equipment that needs to go up here. You can put them up here and not have to worry about them all being laying on your floor when you get somewhere. So this is just a nice heavy duty guard um, so that everything that you put up there hopefully stays up there. Got a nice clothes rod here uh, so you can hang all your show shirts and everything like that. Keep them nice and unwrinkled off the floor out of your truck. I think this is just a super great setup for a trailer like this. Um, a family with a couple kids is gonna be so comfortable showing off of this and it's gonna give them a lot of longevity in their show career. Right here, we have uh, this box here is actually for your plexiglass. So you've got an, two upper air gaps and a lower air gap on this trailer. And those plexis, if you need to take them in and out, we recommend that you take some painter's tape, tape them all together, label which air gap it is so that you don't have to go play Tetris later on. And then you can store them right up here. So I always recommend that people keep a Sharpie and a roll of painter's tape on these trailers. As I mentioned, we do have on this side, the escape door. And since this trailer is eight foot wide, we have optioned it with a step. Just makes it so much easier to get in and out. It's really, really um, something that's beneficial we found on our horse trailers, on our stock trailers. This door has a little window here. So if you need to get a little airflow going through, um, you can crack that window open and, and get some fresh air moving in and out. So right here, you've got these nice extruded aluminum sides. Um, you've got the escape door on this side and the ramp opposite. So we set both of the ramps up so they're both on the same side. 
but you can access each of these without having to put a ramp down, which is really awesome. You've got the lower and upper tie rails, so if you need to tie out, you've got them on each side, as well as on the interior here. So it just makes it really easy to use. Step up in here. So I actually tried to match this trailer today. One of the upgrades that uh, I didn't really, it was just a happy coincidence. Um, one of the upgrades that this family decided to do is they, they really wanted worm flooring. So worm flooring is a non-porous flooring, so it'll protect your aluminum floors for years and years to come. The cool thing about worm flooring is it actually comes in a variety of colors. So uh, this family has, has uh, some kids that their favorite color is purple. Um, I think this is actually going to be a surprise trailer for them. So they've got, they decided to do this purple mixed in with this gray and black. That gray and black will help it kind of look clean uh, if you've even got some shavings down or something like that. But I think that they're just going to be so static. I love how this purple floor turned out. But we've done anything from, from bright blue, red and black, uh, tan and black, the black is standard, obviously, but there's so many different choices that Worm can do, and they can mix several different colors to make it exactly how you want. So if you're interested in, in maybe some custom options on these inventory trailers that we have coming in, you can always give us a call, and we can see what's possible to quote out and add to those trailers that we have on order. You maybe don't have to wait till the end of the line to get something. Maybe you can modify something that we've already got coming and save yourself a little bit of time. So right here, uh, they wanted, another thing that they added on is they wanted this full height gate that goes in front of this ramp or behind this ramp so that they can get put this ramp down, have a lot of airflow, keep their animals on if they need to, but they can also make sure they're nice and safe and not gonna be running in and out of the trailers. Cimarron has a lot of cool options. You guys ever find that we've We've done, we've done a lot of cool things, but sometimes if you have an idea in mind, Cimarron is usually game, as long as the engineers to sign off can sign off on it, to try new things. Because a lot of where they get their innovations is from us and the customers telling them, this is where the trends are going, and this is what we think you should, should try. So one of the things that I really love about Cimarron is they're very innovative, and they're always willing to listen to our feedback. So on this trailer, Got 20 foot of stall area or stock area um, with a 17 foot traveling gate. I love these traveling gates that Cimarron does. Um, I've tried different brands, but I think that they've just got such a great system by um, keeping it off, off the roof here. So you don't have to worry about doing any um, extensions going over ramps or gates or anything like that. And you don't have to worry about shavings and everything packing up in your track. So we did a slider on this one, um, but essentially what you do is you've got these little locks here. You always want to make sure that if it's a swinger or slider that it's latched and secure in place while you're traveling it. And as you'll see, wherever they have kind of a metal to metal contact, they've usually got a plastic buffer. So on all of these here, they've got this plastic lining, so metal on metal actually wears faster. So by doing this plastic lining, we're increasing the longevity of your parts, as well as it makes it a lot quieter for your animals. We want these animals to ride in these trailers nice and stress-free, so the quieter and more comfortable we can make it for them, the better everything will be. So they're really easy to operate. These have just nice little um, spring-loaded latches. But what I do on these traveling gates is I like to get kind of center on it, and then you can literally walk it back. Like I can do it with one hand, either direction. It's pretty much as long as you get centered and keep these kind of lined up, they travel really, really nicely. So your next um, area that you can grab onto is any of these upright posts here. And they, on these bigger support beams here, they actually add a notch so that you can grab onto them and keep your, keep your distances great. But essentially, once you get to where you want to be, you just go ahead and reverse what you just did. Go ahead and put some locks on them. If you've got any, anybody playing with them, they're not going to be moving the gate while you travel. 
but essentially it's that easy to move. Uh, a little kid could move it if, if, if you want. So this is, this is just something that Cimarron has really perfected this gait. Everything is really animal safe. You're not going to feel any sharp spots that you have to worry about. Everything's got a nice radius to it. It's all beveled off. So this is the reason that a lot of people love these Cimarron trailers, is that they're just so um, usable, uh, beginner friendly, and safe for your animals. Right here, I mentioned earlier that Cimarron has that FiberTech roof. So this roof is actually very dent resistant. One of the reasons we love it so much in Colorado is because it can take up to baseball size hail without damage, but it also keeps it a lot cooler. So on a hot, really hot day, 100 degrees outside, I can come in here and I can put my hand flat on this roof and not have to pull it away. It might be a little warm to the touch, but it's not going to scald you. So especially since we're so, such a, so much more enclosed space in here than a horse trailer, it's really nice that we can um, keep the animals a lot cooler. That's one of our big goals on these trailers, is to make sure not, no animals are getting hot or overheated during travel. So this will keep them a lot cooler. Um, it'll make sure that the air in here stays a lot more temperate so that animals can be a lot more comfortable. And having the durability and sound deafening um, abilities of this roof is just an added bonus. It's got that FiberTech honeycomb core, so it's just really strong and usable for years and years to come. I could climb up on this roof and not have to worry about walking on these roof bows in order for su to find support. So as I mentioned, real, real animal safe. Um, you'll notice that even the wheel wells here, or I can run my hands over them and not have to worry about getting cut or anything like that. We've carried these LED Optibrite lights into the stock area. Um, so at night, say you're loading up, it's been a long day, you can see exactly what you're doing, make sure everybody is put in the right place and uh, everything is latched and secure. These Optibrite lights have been a real savior on some of those really dark nights trying to load. On the rear here, um, you do have two 8-inch awning lights. Um, that'll just make it so that when you're loading up, it'll kind of lighten up this area back here, make it really easy for you to kind of see what's going on. We've got lights over each side as well. On the, on the sides, we've done a slightly bigger light. Um, we've got those 16 inch, especially over by those ramps, just makes it a lot easier to kind of see what you're doing. Done a slider on this rear gate as well. So if you need to load in and out, you've got a slider and a slider inside. As I mentioned earlier, upper and lower tie, tie rails on each side of this exterior. So if you need to tie out, um, you've got your options on what you can do. This ramp for the animals is nice and textured as well, um, especially loading animals in and out. We want to make sure they're as safe as possible so that we don't have to have any issues, have anybody slip or fall going in and out of these trailers. This trailer is set up with a rubber torsion suspension. So you're actually running on two um, 7K Dexter rubber torsion axles. You've got plenty of axle underneath this trailer to load it without having to worry about some of the new regulations. Another thing that we do on these show trailers is we, we tend to add a few more of these button lights. At night, we want these trailers to be nice and bright and beautiful, but also it's a safety thing. The easier everybody can see you, the more likely they are to keep a little bit of distance and keep everybody nice and safe. So, as I mentioned, this one is already sale pending. I know that the customers that, that bought this one are really excited to pick it up um, and they're going to put it to good use. So, if you want something like this, we reordered this trailer. Um, it just right now has standard rubber mats in it. Um, it doesn't have this gate here unless you guys want to add it. There's plenty of things we can do on these trailers. We can add additional lights. Um, we can add more tie rails. We can change the swings or the sliders for swings. There's a lot of upgrades we can do on these trailers that are already on order that you can put your name on and, and be the first one to get it when it comes in. So. I'll go up here and reference the stock number for you guys so that if you do want one just like this, 
or maybe you want a horse trailer and you just love that purple floor like I do, then you can go ahead and reference this stock number. It is 5N210222. It won't be on transwestspot.com, but you're always welcome to give me a call. My name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. Love to answer any questions you have about this trailer or any others coming in. We build custom trailers. Um, we have a lot of really cool inventory on order. So check us out at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in.